I'm the first one in today. Good morning. Oh, Willow's like, oh, you're boring. I need to start bringing an apple for everyone. Good morning, Penny Pickle. Go slow. She's really good at taking bites. All of our horses are actually. They eat apples just like people eat apples. Don't you? You eat apples just like people eat apples. So I'm like, where's my apple? Everybody should get an apple. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> Ellie. You know how to open this door. Get back here, you little munchkin. Ellie is almost a year. She's almost 11 months old, actually. She's just 10 and a half months, actually. And she's starting to do a couple of bad things. All right, she's starting to do one bad thing that I have to fix today. So you guys know how Ellie can fit under every fence. Well, she has been, does this one come out? This one might work, I don't know. She fits underneath a fence that goes onto the road and she's been doing that. She thinks it's the most fun thing ever. And I want to keep her forever because she's the love of my life, one of the loves of my life. So see how I have like a board under that fence so that the duck and the goose can't go through? We have a board here so the goat can't go through. Get back here! <laughs> I know exactly where you're going. Well today, I have to mark, I have to, to put a board underneath here because she can't go under this gate. Goes right to the road, so. I do not have enough. I need definitely more. Let's see if this will work. Ugh. It's handy having these things just laying around though. You don't run under that fence while I'm unhooking this. Was this an electric fence before? Like what the heck, man? All right, well, I can't get that. So I'm gonna have to get something else. Hopefully I can keep Ellie in this morning while I let the animals out and then I'll fix that. It's a pajama day. I actually have some place I want to go today that requires me like not being a farm girl. So I'm gonna have my shower after chores and try and stay clean. Have babies. Bye. Come on let's go. I'm watching you like a hawk today. She's like that road is calling my name Laura. <laughs> Uh oh, hey, get over here. See, she, she wants to go on that road. It's her new thing. So she gets out down there as well. So I think I'm gonna take one of these. These are like the old panels that were on the fence there. They made up this fence. So I'm gonna take one of these babies and put it there. The reason I can't like secure it permanently is because we use that gate often enough. Oh, there's a board right there actually. That one probably would have been better. See how it's like, yeah, that, this is better. Pickles are like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, I can get out. I know I can. All right, so I'm gonna try. Carry two of these at the same time. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> All right, let's go. I should actually show you guys. A, hey, get back over here. A play-by-play -play of all the stuff we do each day that we don't show, like the millions of things we do. I think that will work. And it will work like that too. All right, that's perfect. There's absolutely no way that Ellie can get out there now. I have this other one, I'm gonna take it. There's another gate far down at the end that she can do the same thing with. She never goes in that field, so it's less of a problem, but better to be safe than sorry. Try it, Ellie, I dare you, try it. Oh, Sam is getting ready for his surgery soon. So today he's going to take some time and load up on hay, especially for the goats. The horses have lots of hay and he's going to order another round bale. So the horses will have their round bale and then he has a ton of hay for them and he'll probably get more before his surgery. But today we're gonna load up on the goat hay so that we're all ready for when he's incapacitated. I'm actually so grateful 
that he is taking time to get us all set up so that everything is easier for us when he's gone. It would be hard for us because I don't drive the truck. Just like I'm sure he appreciates the stuff that I'm preparing for him for his comfort level after the surgery. Marriage is honestly a team effort and I'm so grateful to have him on my team, on our team. You know what that means? It means it's a riding, a riding away from home day. Well, what is happening here? Sophie with you? No, do you need her help? No, but you need to come here and help me. Okay, yeah, I'm coming to help. So, do you need to put down the camera? Yeah. Okay. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go So, I don't know what this is gonna be, but, ooh, it stands. We are gonna take these things to the field now and we're gonna finish building whatever he's building in the field. So if any of you guys guessed that he's building something in the field, then you were right. <laughs> so apparently we are building something so exciting that the horse has got to check it out. <laughs> and the duck and the goose and the goats. <laughs> just, just so that we'd be clear here. And Ellie. <laughs> Honestly, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not a jump. All she does is go over and run circles around them and then they chase her. So that's that's her whole motive here. <laughs> she sees the scary one. <laughs> Don't run around the horses. Come here, Ellie. Come here. Stay over here. Hi, babies. Ellie, Ellie thinks she's, Ellie has such a good idea about, look at her wagging her tail, about who's safe and who's not. She knows she's not safe. She's the mean one. <laughs> Don't chase her. Storm's like, you better behave. You're on my turf now. The so one day that we need the horses to be gone <laughs> so we can build something. And they're like, oh, just hang around and watch. So that hay bale lasted us almost a month. By the time they're finished with it, it will probably be a month. It's getting there, we are getting there. <laughs> Every time I leave something, they're all over it. If you ask me though, I would never want to build anything in the horse field without all this, all this help, all this supervising. So, so far this is our hay box. There's going to be a bottom. <laughs> it does not stop the goats from going in. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. She's like, yeah, I'm happy now. So someone asked us how often we ride Storm. We ride them, we hope for three times a week. We ride them for sure two times a week. And sometimes we ride them four times a week. It just depends. Oh, for <laughs> This week is gonna be three times. Our little boy loves to eat. Oh, she's so warm. I know, she's so fuzzy. I'm proud of Sam. This is cute. Yeah, the goats can just climb right in through it. So you wanna put it a bit higher? I know, but I mean, if the summer they're going to be back here. That low if they can crawl under it. They can climb through it. So it's good he came and said, hey, look it, I can climb through it. So you want to lift it a bit? Well, it, then the, that one is too low. It's also going to have a door or a gate to put the hay in. And eventually it's going to have a top. But the problem with the top is that Sam currently can't climb ladders. And we're seriously trying to get this stupid thing out of here. Sam's tried everything, but it won't come out. Actually, you can really move it. If anybody has any hints about how to get these out of the ground. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out so shy.
Mastercard. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And no. I'm hoping that this will help with food aggression because I noticed Storm pushes Gracie off the food, especially now that Penny's in heat. We need like two of these. We do need like two of these. We need like two for four horses. Why don't you just make another one of those and put it here? Yeah, we can have an extra long one. Right, Hans? Anyway, what I was saying before is that it's gonna have a lid and it's going to protect it from the rain, but we have to wait for Sam to be able to climb up on a ladder. He can't climb up on a ladder right now. Or we might get somebody to come and do it for us. If you us. squat down, the goose will come and tickle you. I know. So, Very scary. Sophie got a massage. I got kisses. I hate fluffy horses. I love them when they're all sleek and, and smooth. Well, Willow gets fluffy. Yeah. Do you think they'll be able to push it over? Push what over? This? No. I was thinking of that too, but I have a stake. I could stake it in the ground. Yeah. I feel like I'm just gonna climb in there and lay there. Anyway, it's a start. Ugh, this is hard. Sam and Sophie had to bring hay in for the goats. So they had to move this and Ellie went right out it. Like the minute she saw it was free, poof, she went out. We are constantly watching her and calling for her, even when we're busy. But literally there are minutes where she can disappear and she goes straight for here every single time. I don't know why they do that. It's like they know what is the most scary thing and then they run for it. Oh man. That is my hay for the next month, maybe two months. Perfect spot for it. Oh. Currently we don't go through a ton of hay because our goats are browsing all the time, but the, well, the buck, he eats quite a bit of hay. They even filled up this spot for me. They're so sweet. Like, I'm an acts of service kind of girl. When people do kind things for me, I'm always so amazed and it makes me so happy. It's the boys, for sure, that eat the most hay. And I like to, to move it all the way along this whole feeder so that if the buck tries to push the baby off, I put him in here with him at night. These feeders really help to keep them not wasting hay. I literally wanted to try and stay clean <laughs> for today. <gasps> but here I am, out with the goats and the ducks. And the, and the goat, the goats and the horses and the ducks. It's hard to stay away. I really don't feel comfortable with that post there. I tried to get Sam to move the feeder a little bit further from it, but he said that in order to bring it in, it's just easier here. Uh, we need to get that out though. Honey! Penny's like, y'all, I don't like this. Yeah, they don't like it. The one Penny's not <laughs> mean to. Gracie's like, I like it. Penny's not that mean to Honey. Yeah. Okay. If that was any other horse, she would be pushing them away. I know, Honey really is good to Penny. Or Penny is pretty gentle with Honey. Ellie, stop eating horse poop. So that is it for now. Arms all the way around her belly. You can wrap your arms all the way around her belly. See? Look how dark she got. That must be her winter coat coming in. That's so dark. Do you well, guys she's see? She's supposed to be dark. I know. She was dark. I know. Penny's like, where's Penny's my like, apple? Me. All her under belly is gonna be white. Every time I see little tiny bits of chaff, I always think of Chino. It always makes me sad. Are you stuck? Come on, I'll save you. She's stuck because it's Tilly. Come on. Listen, don't ch chase my dog. I know she's annoying. Come on, Ellie. What can I do for you, pretty princess? Hey, what do you want? You wanna go for another walk, don't you? You wanna go for another walk? You love that trail. You want an apple? I know, I smell like stinky goats. Here. Here. I know, she hates damn still. <laughs> He feeds her every night and every, and she still hates him. And I think it's more deep rooted. Like it's not him, it's someone else in her past. Anyway, yeah, Ruby is locked in the barn again. 
Every other dog <laughs> pays attention and comes when I leave, but not Ruby. And I never know for sure that she's there because I'm never paying attention. When Penny looks in my eyes, I see love and she does it all the time. She's like that sensitive kind of horse. So she always looks in people's eyes to gauge them before she goes near them, which is weird because Sam is literally the most gentle person ever. He's like quiet and calm and he has no bad intentions ever. But she believes in me and she trusts me. But I think it's because she doesn't like men. So comment below when your horse looks at you in the eye, do you, you see love there? So I just had a phone interview with one of Gabby's teachers. It's like interview time. And they sometimes do phone interviews. So I had a phone interview with him. I was almost crying, you guys. He couldn't say enough nice things about Gabby. And where I almost started crying is that I said that I couldn't believe the difference in the school system over the years and that Gabby only has nice things to say about school. Like she loves school. And he said, well, when we have students like Gabby, it makes our job so much easier. Like, isn't that so kind? But anyway, he told me like, she just did a verbal report the other day in front of the class and she got 90%. That's really hard for her because she's definitely an introvert. And he said she did phenomenal. He said that she's always put together. She's always working and trying and doing her best. And I said, that's awesome. I said that she always asks us if she needs help. And he said, it's completely ob it's, it's obvious that she does that because she is doing so well. Is that so good? No, I'm just so proud of her. Like, because she stayed home for all those years and she is just such a good student. And anyways, it just makes me happy. And I wanted to share with you guys because so many of you guys asked me how Gabby is doing in school. All right, so it's Gabby or Sophie's birthday is all set up her birthday is tomorrow and she wants to open her presents right away and over here <laughs> sits our very well adjusted kitty <laughs> don't you know that you're beautiful